I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist. Let's talk a little bit about themes. To start, take a look at my computer. You'll see here that I'm beginning a new blank project. And when I go to begin a new blank project, I can set the size and then go into the space immediately. The first thing that happens when I create a new project in Captivate 6 is that the theme bar appears across the top. I can browse through the various themes inside of my layout and choose one to apply to my project. If I close the master slide view, you'll see that all the elements of my theme are applied to the basic slide. Now when I add new slides to a given project, the slides are added based on the rules of that individual theme. I can press Control shift v to insert new slides. That's nice. And I like this theme, but it might not be the perfect theme. Now, the first thing to understand about themes is that they include more than just the backgrounds that exist inside the master slide. So if you open up the master slide, you'll actually be able to see many, many different pre-built kinds of backgrounds, styles, and layouts. But that's not all there is to a theme. A theme is actually a collection of information, including information about the different kinds of layouts or branding that you might have on the slides in the master. It also includes all of the information about object styles used throughout the project. It also includes information about the table of contents and the skin and all the colors that are associated with the table of contents and the skin. It includes all kinds of information. And in fact, you can find that information here in the themes menu. So if you drop down the themes menu, you'll see that when you have an actual content slide selected, the themes menu is slightly different than when you have a master slide selected. And that's because you can't choose a master slide and then use the menu for the theme slide. You need to choose or select an individual project slide and then choose items from the themes. From the themes drop down, you'll actually see that you can create a new theme using the save theme as tool and that's what i'll do next so to get started it's easiest if you start by using a theme that's already been built i'll go ahead and use this theme the black and white theme to create my own new theme the way i'll get started is i'll go here to the library and in the library i'm going to find all of the slides all of the backgrounds that have been used on slides I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. I have one more background I want to get rid of. It's pretty easy to do this step when you first begin a project because the only things in the library are the individual background images from that particular theme. So go ahead and delete all of those and you'll notice that now I have an essentially blank project. I like to use the black and white to get started because it's fairly color neutral and there won't be a lot of unusual changes that I have to make to the basic captions. You can also start a theme from scratch. You can also copy and paste elements from different slides. If you decide you want to start a theme from scratch, keep in mind that you have to have at least one content area slide in a theme and you have to have at least one quiz type slide in a given theme. So you'll need to have those basic slide types along with the big master master slide. Now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the master of all slides and I'm going to insert a new image into the background. So I'll just choose insert and then image and then I'll choose this iStock image that I happen to have. Once that image is in place, I'm going to actually move it into the position that I want it to be. So I want to move that image over a little bit. And I think I'll shrink it down just a little bit. So I've got my image in place. It's the size that I want it to be. And once I'm comfortable with the size and the position, then I'll be able to go ahead and work with that as part of my theme. When I open back up the master slide, you'll notice that on the master slide panel, I now have that background image applied to many, but not all of the individual slides. Why is that? Well, as we look at this slide, which has captions, we'll notice that here on the caption slide, 
I actually have some special properties checked. I show the main master slide objects and I use the master slide background. Whereas on this slide, the content and captions, it doesn't show the main master slide objects. So I need to click on that if I want to actually use the main master slide objects. Now one nice thing about using that single main master slide is that I can go back and make a modification. I might, for example, want to move these flowers over to the right hand side instead of the left. In fact, I think I would. So what I'm going to do is just close that panel and then click here and I'll simply flip it over and then move it over to the side. If I drag it over and put it in position and I can even use the little arrows to get it exactly where I want it. So now my main master slide has those elements in a different position. Now I like the look and feel of that and I feel like I've got it all in place. If I click on any of those individual slides, I can now choose from my main master and set up any of the slides to have the look and feel to use the basic background or the basic overall content that I want them to use. And I've quickly and easily created my own custom themes. So it's really not too difficult to go ahead and create your own custom art and your own custom themes and to assign them all and to create a fabulous look and feel to retool it so that it fits your project well. Thank you.